Hello everyone, I'm your host Aquaman, and welcome back to another episode of Staring at the Scandal. In our last episode, we finished up an execution. We killed three people and got 3,000 gold for it. Seems reasonable. Today we are going to do one of the last quests that TNS has for us. We are going to try to get through two quests today. If we can't get through them, okay, we'll finish up the last one next weekend, but... Ooh, boy. Last ones for this guy. We're getting close to the end of Tribunal. And on that note, stick around till the very end of the episode because I have some rather important news that I have to talk about. That being said, let's talk about official matters. We're looking for the anonymous writer of the Common Ton. Oh boy, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. We'd like you to find the anonymous writer of the Common Ton and persuade him to stop printing such lies about King Helseth. When we make official inquiries, people just look stupid and assure us they have no idea what we are talking about. We think you may have better luck, particularly if you approach less reputable citizens, persons who place profit above honor. Tell me more. I'm not interested. Lies? Helseth is a poisoner, isn't he? Ooh. <laughs> uh... Um, yeah. ah, I got it. I want to bring it up. I don't want to bring it up. I take your point. King Helseth is a skilled alchemist and student of bodily processes, but it won't do to have people referring to our sovereign as a common poisoner, will it? Eloquently put, this guy is good at his job. Fine, tell me more about this mission. First, we want you to ask around and discover who is writing these lies. Then we want you to find him and persuade him to stop printing lies. The manner of the persuasion is left to your discretion. You will be discreet, of course. We don't want to appear to be threatening the time-honored imperial traditions of encouraging free speech. <laughs> of course. I'm just somebody... involved. I'm not really part of this. Good. Report to me when you found this anonymous writer and make sure that he will never print lies about King Helseth again. The King's health to you, Sarah. Oh my gosh, he wants me dead, I know it. Now unlike last time and uh, what I was saying last episode, I did a little bit of looking into this uh, quest. Not because I want to know where the person is, because I didn't actually do that. I don't know where he is. I really don't. But there are plenty of ways to go about doing this. And I wanted to make sure I get the best reward. So we are going to get the best reward. That thunder is very loud. Mayra. Do you know anything about the anonymous writer? If I were looking around for an anonymous writer. I'd talk to someone who deals in writing. Books and scrolls for example. Perhaps a person with a shady reputation. Like a pawnbroker. That's actually pretty good. I like that. Anonymous writer is somebody you'd want to ask about the bookstore. So that's how we're going to get to who we want to see, but we also want to talk to two other people. G. Pop Varus, who as I just now realized, is Grandpa Varus. Grandpa. That's hilarious. Okay. Can we ask him about the anonymous writer? Oh. Hey, maybe not. What about uh, the common ton, I think? No. He's supposed to have something very interesting to say about all this. Discontent, Dunmer, whoever that guy is, Seth. Let's see. The craftsman's hall is not a craftsman at all, just a collector. Collects the strangest things. Spoons, candlesticks, and plates. That it's hard to come by a complete set of some things and people will pay good money for them. Takes all kinds to make a world. That's pretty funny. We can probably get a special quest from the guy, but okay. No advice. You can't levitate in Mournhold. If that's the way you're used to being out of trouble, it won't work here. That's very true, actually. All the power in Mournhold starts with Amalexia at the temple. He tends things. Omalexia, etc, etc, etc. Hmm. Okay, well, he's supposed to have some sort of unique dialogue, but for some reason I can't unlock it. Come on, get around there. There's one more person I want to talk to, though.
and that is Granny Varus. We had Grandpop, and now Granny. And she says the very same thing. Thank you, Granny. Background is the caretaker. <laughs> caretaker and the gardener. Do you have anything to say about these things? The wild rats are a problem. Poke around the sewers if you want some action. Dovor Oren has deep pockets and pays well. Interesting. Okay, we'll keep our eyes out for that guy. Always looking to make a little bit of money. Though I certainly don't need it. I just happen to be a hoarder that way. Whoa, jeez. It came up out of nowhere. It's like, oh, I'm going to get you. So down here, we've got the bookseller, who we have been to before. Can I talk to you? Okay. Sanaso Serothran. Do you know who the anonymous writer is? You... You are someone who deals in writing. You're a... You're a book seller. You sell written work. <sighs> well, that was a little bit embarrassing. I followed the Ron lead. Or I assumed the lead was something and I followed that. Magic shop? That is cool. You sp go in there specifically to buy magic. I don't remember what the other two spots were, but... Ten toes! What is it? What do you want? I want some answers. Low prices every day and special offers as well? Hold on, what are these special offers? Every now and then I'll have special bargains on certain items. Just for value customers like yourself, of course. Check back with me on a regular basis and I'll see if I can make you a deal. That's cool. Do you have anything at the moment? Well, since you ask, it turns out I happen to have a fifth barrier scroll, 60 drakes. Interested? Why is it so cheap? If you're implying what I think you're implying, I am not amused. I'm just asking. Good grief. Let's see if we can get this guy to continue liking us, because we have some questions that I kind of want answered properly. Do you know about the anonymous writer? He does seem a little shady. Here's what I've heard. I've heard that the guy who writes the commentine is someone named Trells Varus. Now, this is not a name known to me personally. I make it a habit to know the names of people in Mournhold personally. And this guy I do not know. And other people I talk to also do not know. Which is noteworthy in itself. I make the guess that this guy is well hid and wants to stay well hid. But where do I first hear about this guy? In the Craftsman's Hall. So maybe that is a one place to look. Trells Varus. Have you heard anything else about him? I don't know him, I just know of him. Okay. Maybe now I can get that little extra bit I was looking for. Gonna go past the Fonz up here. <laughs> go back to talk to Grandpa and Granny. Hopefully we'll get the right thing from them. Well, come to think of it, Trails Varus? Granny Varus. Certainly she would know, wouldn't she? Well, yes, that's the name of one of my sons, Trails Varus, but I have no idea where he is right now. I haven't seen him recently. Aha! That's why they would expect you to talk to these two. They have the same last name. That's interesting. Nice little touch. I did not catch that until the last minute. And Trails Varus. My wife says she doesn't know where he is. Well, Granny is getting right forgetful in her old age. Of course, Trells is in, Trells is in Kragenmoor, like I said. Where the heck is Kragenmoor? I suspect Granny and G-Pop Varus are not telling me the truth about their son Trells Varus, but it gives me an idea. If I threaten to hurt Granny and G-Pop, it may persuade Trells Varus to start printing lies about King Halseth in the common tongue. Granny doesn't know, but he says a private temple school in Kragenmoor. Doesn't make sense that the father knows, but the mother doesn't. I mentioned this peculiarity to Grandpa, and he said Granny is getting old and forgetful, but they're probably not telling the truth. Interesting. So, it's a little bit, okay, a lot sneaky and underhanded and downright cruel, but I'm going to use that leverage to try to get the best possible... <sighs> I mean, personally, I'm against blackmail. I have some personal stories I could share about blackmail. I won't. But even so that's not suspicious. 
even so, I really hate blackmail and people who use blackmail, so I don't like wanting to use this, but it's going to give us the absolute best possible outcome, so I'm going to. For now, we need to find Trells Varus. Custom armor, he's what he speaks of, but we're not here for that right now. Let me make myself perfectly clear. There's no one named Trells Varus here. Ask me again, and I'll tell you the same thing. Well, how about if I ask you again when you like me a little bit better? How about that? Now, will you tell me where, who, and where Trells Varus is? No, he's not. Custom armor. I'm the one you want. What about this guy? What do you want? I'm here to make weapons, not to chat. What well, if I want you to chat about a particular individual named Trells Varus? Are you stupid enough to give me information? No, you're not. Okay. Well, what about this Imperial over here? Are you speaking to me, Dark Elf? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't you take your looks and your ungrateful tone and talk directly to the smith? I'm just an apprentice. I've, g I've got nothing to offer the likes of you. I don't belong here. What are you talking about and why are you so rude? That's right. I'm too good for this place. Slaving over a hot forge is a job best left is a job best left to the plebes. I mean, look at old Bulls over there with his torn, sweat and saliva stained shirt, his head like a giant corpus infected melon, and that faltering gait of his like a guar with venerable warts. It's a wonder he even remembers to put pants on in the morning. It really is. Now compare him with me. Yes, just look at me. I'm the picture of perfection. Look at these nails. Do you know how much I had to pay those filthy Halalu manicures for these? Look at my flawless complexion, the ideal proportions of my body. Do you think the gods created such an image of majesty for the purpose of blacksmithing? Certainly not, my very naive friend. Clearly I am destined to become an adventurer. Clearly you are destined to become a splat in the wall that we're going to have to scrape off with a spatula. What kind of idiot are you? Do you mock me, plebe? Yes, I do. I aspire to heights greater than you've ever dreamed of. Do you think monsters and evil men will stand any chance when they behold this majestic specimen of humanity striding toward them? No. They will all quail and faint at the sight of me. I will wave their corpses aside with a swipe of my hand. My greatness is inevitable. In fact, I believe I will start my adventuring just today. Mark my words, Dark Elf. Next time you come around, you won't find me here. <sighs> they were imagining things. Never heard that voice before. Today I met an extremely rude Smith's apprentice by the name of Ilnori Faustus. He told me how he plans on becoming an adventurer and how he expects to abandon his apprenticeship very soon. Um, before we get going on this, it sounds like this is kind of a fast-moving quest here. <laughs> I see you've already met the acquaint made the acquaintance of my charming apprentice, Ilnori Faustus. Yeah, he's, um, somebody you'd like to never meet. He's my apprentice, and the last Imperial apprentice I'll ever be forced into taking, that's for sure. He doesn't do a lick of work, preferring to sit around cleaning those stupid fingernails of his and telling me what a bloody oaf I am. Dell will be around much longer to bother me. He seems drawn to death like a lodestone. Quite honestly, I don't care. Let this let him die. <laughs> I really don't care. But I do need to get in this door. And you need to not be around when I attempt. I think he's good. Very hopefully he won't be coming back. Okay. After a quick save. See if we can get into this door. That's actually pretty simple. What have we got here? Raw glass, natch leather, raw ebony. Huh. All ingredients for making armor. Trap door to the secret office. Dun -dun 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 Batman! Veros Nerethi, Veranos Holando, and Trells Varus. You're the one I'm the looking for. The straight truth. Yeah. But it's definitely, give him credit, he is a very eloquent truth giver. Let's be fair. Oh, goodness! What are you doing here? And may I suggest you make your answer very clear because this office and what we do here is a well kept secret. And we wish to keep it a secret even if it means that you do not leave here alive. Or not leave her alive. You will stop printing lies about King Helseth. Excuse me, I'm just an honest working burglar and I want no trouble. I'm looking for the Eye of Argonia. My mistake, I'll leave and keep your secret. Honest. <laughs> the Eye of Argonia. Really. You will stop printing lies about King Helseth. I haven't printed lies about King Helseth in the common ton. I've only printed the truth. And I intend to keep on printing the truth in the common ton. Unless you think you can stop me. I think killing you will stop you. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, it, it's a very... 
brute way of doing things, but that's that's the perfect answer. I'm not going to do it, but that's the perfect answer. I think a gift of 1,000 gold will stop you. I think a donation of 3,000 gold to the Widows and Orphans Fund will stop you. I think threatening your aged parents will stop you. <sighs> Any kind of blackmail, dude. I hate it. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to threaten his aged parents. Well, I must say, you've done your research. You've located Granny Varus and G-Pop Varus. I value truth, but I value the lives of my parents more highly. Very well, I will not discuss King Helseth in the common ton. You have my word. And now, if you'll excuse me, we'll have to relocate immediately, now that the secret of our office is spoiled. Goodbye. Please stop forever, I don't want to have to come back and kill you guys later. Is someone laughing at me? Let's just leave. And is he gone? Like for good? Is he gone? Huh. Never seen that before. That's kind of cool. I wonder if that's related to one of the other Elder Scrolls games. Okay! Something happened. That. Hmm. Okay, he's upset. He left me just a few hours ago without so much as a wave goodbye. Just walked out the door. Well, good riddance, I suppose, but I still need an apprentice. If you find any able-bodied dumb person looking for work, let them know I need a new apprentice. Okay, uh, sure. I'll do that if I ever hear of anybody who sounds worth it. Good gracious. Okay, yeah, well, quite honestly, I don't think he'll be missed. Now, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, but is it not so obvious... We're in the temple again. We're in the palace again, by the way. But is it not so obvious that there are a ton of side quests in here? We're just stumbling on them now. I'm, I'm just talking to people casually, and we're stumbling on them. Certainly, this is a place that really wants to explore and find things out on their own. I mean, they packed this whole content with content. Yes, Kevin, is this an official matter? Heck yeah! I took care of the anonymous writer. You're up here, actually. So, Trails Varus is the anonymous writer of the common ton and he threatened the lives of his aged parents, and Trells Varus gave you his word that he would not discuss King Halseth in the common ton. Everything I just told you, you repeated to me. Do you have to do this to ensure that you heard everything correctly? Because if you didn't hear all that correctly, how would you hear me say yes or no? Just saying. You shall find judgment and a light touch. A light touch? I freaking threatened his parents, dude! Good job, we're proud of you. We are very satisfied with your service and are pleased to give you a rich reward and great honor besides. I give you a King's Oath Blade, exactly like those used by the Royal Guard. Only those sworn to the King's service and tested by great trials may use them. They bear deadly curses that kill thieves and traitors. I salute you and welcome you into our brotherhood. And there's one last official matter. Go to Lady Baron Zaya. She's asked to speak with you. 5,000 gold and Keen's Oath have been added to your inventory. Woo! The lowest possible reward we can get for this quest is 3,000 gold. The sword is very difficult to get. I think you can only get that with one or two outcomes. And this one was the best. Not my favorite way of doing things, but yeah. So, that's going to be the end of our work for today. I have a quick announcement to make, but first, let's take a look at this blade here that we just picked up. That is a Good looking blade. Heavy and expensive, and it looks like a Daedric Greatsword. Okay. Up to 60 damage. Cast and strikes. 450 charge to damage health by a lot. And paralyze and fire damage. Okay. Personally, I'm into one handed weapons, but. I'm pretty sure that would be a heck of a lot better than any Daedric artifact I could have possibly gotten my hands on. Certainly better than Goldbrand. Goldbrand got replaced a while ago, but dang man, Keen's Oath. If you're into two-handed weapons, that's the one you want. Gracious! Okay, so, that is going to be the end of today's episode. If this is all you guys are interested in, now would be a good time to stop. Thank you for joining me. Come back next time. For the rest of you, 
Morrowind may soon be coming to a close for various reasons. And these reasons are as follows. First of all, last week, shortly after recording Morrowind, as I was about to end, my capture card stopped recording. And I decided that this was a little bit of a problem, and I restarted recording the series that is going to come out on Tuesday. It took some work, but it looks like my capture card is going to be having a little bit of an issue and needs to be replaced pretty soon. The problem with this is that I currently don't have a steady job and the new capture card would cost me about a hundred dollars so if things get worse if my capture card is in fact in the process of dying there could be a very sudden stop in any series that I have to record using that one. I have two capture cards but they each serve a different purpose for recording different kinds of content and this one is required for recording Morrowind. If it breaks, if it's gone, Morrowind will have a very sudden stop. I will tell you all if this happens. So don't panic too much that there's suddenly no Morrowind and I'm saying now you know why. I will give you a warning in advance if Morrowind can't come out because of this reason. I can manipulate my cord just enough so that I can keep recording, but I don't know if this is a temporary fix, a permanent fix, or just delaying the inevitable. So that's one reason. Another reason Morrowind may stop in the future is this, and this is a big one. Tribunal is the last major quest line in Morrowind. After Tribunal ends, I have no idea what to do for the rest of Morrowind. For the most part, Morrowind has been run based on the comments and suggestions of you, the viewers. But in the past few months, Morrowind has been getting less and less comments. I think people are content to let me go ahead and do my own thing. Well, I have practically run out of ideas to do for Morrowind. What I would like to do, my personal goal for the rest of Morrowind, the series, is to finish up Tribunal, do some side quests for Tribunal, Maybe we could go back to Vardenfell and do some other side quests. I know that we are only like halfway done with the Nazis quests in finding different artifacts and whatnot. We have all the Daedric artifacts too, so there's nothing more we can do with that. Aside from that, when we are done with Tribunal, we could do some of the Nazis quests. And that's all I have planned for Morrowind. And if there are no suggestions or requests, for what you guys would like to see in Morrowind's future, Morrowind will shortly after come to a close. What's going to happen when Morrowind comes to a close is there will be a few weekends where I do not release content. I would like to end Morrowind on a respectful note, not a sappy, sympathetic, whatever note, because as I've said, Morrowind is certainly one of my favorite games. But yeah, Morrowind at some point will come to a close and Morrowind will have a period of time where no videos come out as I am, will be preparing for the final episodes of Morrowind. I have in mind some things I would like to do for the end. I'm currently putting stuff together. I have been for the past few months. I know Morrowind will come to a close. I knew when I started this series Morrowind would eventually stop. It's going to end on a very bittersweet note for me and probably some of you out there as well. But Morrowind can't go on forever, and it looks like, for better or worse, Morrowind may be coming to a close fairly soon if either my capture card dies or I run out of content to bring you, or you guys had run out of content that you would like to see. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Morrowind is going to stop because people have not been leaving comments. That's certainly not at all what I'm trying to say here. I've been getting a lot of really good comments and feedback and ideas from people throughout the entirety of Morrowind series. And to all of you, I say thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I'm not saying that because Morrowind has suddenly stopped getting m such comments that I'm going to stop. No, no, no. I'm also not saying that because of the decline in comments, Morrowind will be stopping soon either. It's just that I'm running out of content that I know I want to bring. And without comments, when Tribunal ends, and maybe a Nazi's quest end, if there's no request for what people want to see, the Morrowind will end. I believe that's all I have to say on the matter, and I hope that it's 
fairly clear on what I was trying to get the point across here. I always have a hard time keeping these things in a neutral tone. That's something I personally struggle with, but that's an announcement I wanted to make far enough in advance that you guys weren't suddenly shocked when I'm saying like, oh yeah, Morrowind's ending next weekend, by the way. <laughs> but no, that'd be pretty terrible of me, but it's something I've been thinking about the past couple weeks is that it will end soon if I have nothing else that I want to bring to you. So, you guys know, and I've put it out there on the table, and I know that all of you out there who are interested know. And on that note, thank you for joining me for Morrowind and the related news of it. Come back next time, and we will finish up this little portion of the Tribunal quest and move on to another main quest giver. Or we'll move on to some side quest stuff. Or we'll move on and do whatever the heck we want. If there's something you guys would like to see aside from the main quest stuff, let me know. My intention for next weekend is to do main quest stuff. If there's anything else that you guys would like to see next weekend, let me know. Otherwise, see you next time everyone. Take care.